So now you're asking me golf. Where can I get even cheaper FIFA coins? You better head over to Goldar's new website at Yoha. It's safe, it's reliable, and trust me, they're dishing out even cheaper FIFA coins. Yo! Yo! Yo, yo, yo. Lads, 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 today we are back with one of those beautiful, one of those sexy, one of those great, great squad builders. And today, as you've probably seen by the title, we're gonna be taking a look at some outfield player heroic stuff. That kind of made sense. Basically, it's outfield players who have gone in goal, the goalkeeper's been sent off, they've jumped in goal, put on the gloves, strapped themselves up, and I don't mean willy, I mean their hands, stood in goal and actually saved a penalty. Like, to even make a save as an outfield player, as a goalkeeper, is amazing. But to save a penalty, to step up and become a hero, mate, you've absolutely smashed it. You've made it. You've done bits. Do you know what, lads? I want to shout out every single one of you that have been suggesting me squads in the comments below. Do you know what? I really actually do appreciate it. And do you remember I told you about these? These little things that YouTube actually sent me. I've been banging on about it in most videos now. They're like little gone pins and they're like golden and silver you can see that i'm gonna be giving out a load of these to you lot for suggesting me teams in the comments below it just sounds like a thank you gesture and also if you lot want to go and slam a comment down now you've also got a chance of winning one but trust me i am going to be giving away as many of those as i possibly can because you lot have been doing absolute bits thank you if i was gay i'd give you a blowy but i'm not so I can. I just realized that was actually really weird. Like, that was, that, no, 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 I, I take that back, that, uh, I give up. In goal to start us off with our outfield goalkeepers, we have got Felipe Melo. Now I've shown you this clip before. It is one of the most heroic outfield player goalkeeping clips. It's like a mouthful that I've ever seen in my life. Felipe Melo, he's not always been known to be the nicest footballer. He's been in a, a bit of trouble before. He's been known to have a few fights. Him and his big black bald head causing trouble. But what he did in this clip, it goes down as nothing but heroic. So as you can see, the goalkeeper is on the floor injured, but the referee has no chill and gives him a red card. Meaning shit, what are we gonna do? That's our substitute goalkeeper. He's just been sent off. Who's gonna go in goal? This is where if you're a good team, you should always train an outfield player to actually play in goal for these sort of situations. So then next up, as you can see, Felipe Melo is strapping up the gloves. And as an outfield player, if you go in goal, there's no pressure on you. Cause you know you've got to step up. And of course, he makes the save. Unbelievable. For Felipe Melo as a centre defensive mid to step in goal, it's a good save. Oh, look at that. He gets across and punches it with two fists. That's a, good, that's a decent save, and he went down for that as an absolute hero. What a guy. We then got another dude called, well, I say a dude. I'm not sure if that's a dude or a woman, but this guy called Adrian Bastia. Now, just like Felipe Melo, he stepped up and he had to try and be a hero and save the day. The question is, does he do it? I think if he's in this squad builder, it's pretty obvious, but let's take a little look. So as you can see in this clip, Adrian Bastia have already put on the gloves and he's ready for war. And he stood on that line and he looks like he's shitting himself to be fair. The sun's in his eyes and he don't know what to do. But his instincts kick in. And take a little look at this for a save. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's like a full on dive. Yo, sign Wenger, sign this guy up. Oh my God. I'm not sure this guy can fill in as a second goalkeeper or saves like that. He's actually got all the way down to the bottom corner and saved it. And if you're a striker or you're the guy taking that penalty and you can't even score against an outfield player, there's problems, there's definitely issues, mate. We then move on to my Chilean brother, Rojas. Rojas. Whenever you say Rojas, I think it's literally an insult if you don't say Rojas. If you don't like jump into the culture, if you don't get involved, because the name ain't pronounced Rojas, it's pronounced Rojas. I like my Fanta with Rojas. So as you can see with this clip, lads, the opposition is making quite a deadly attack. One, two, ticky tacky football. Look at this through ball. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. And then the keeper comes out and absolutely eats him for breakfast. Literally, the referee doesn't even take a second look and he's pulled out the red card. So now we're all sitting there thinking, who's going to go in net? Because that's our substitute keeper. We ain't got no one else left. Who the hell is going to step up and be able to save a penalty? Hmm, let me think. How about Rojas? So as you can see, Rojas walks over, puts on the gloves, 
walks towards the goal and he gets ready to do the absolute dirt. And then this is exactly what happens. Rojas with an absolutely incredible save. These are not just normal saves. He was jumped out with two arms and completely got to that bottom corner and saved it. What a save. We're then going to move on to Augustin Pelletieri. Pelletieri. If I've got any Argentine fans out there, did I just pronounce that right? Pelletieri. Not going to lie, this guy needs a haircut, but he's a hero, so it doesn't matter. So once again, the moment has come when an outfield player has to strap up them gloves. I'm not sure if you'd be nervous or you'd be excited, because as an outfield player, you clearly have no pressure on you. No one's expecting you to make a save. No one's even expecting him to dive the right way. But anyway, Pelletieri steps on the line and he's standing there and he looks like he's ready. The player steps up and Pelletieri makes the save. And makes a double save. Wow. I didn't actually remember, I don't remember watching that. But that's a double save. And that takes balls to dive on the ball when a player's about to boot it. Just, I'm actually sitting here giving him a round of applause. Because he deserves that. The guy's five foot eight and a fag butt, and he's just literally become a hero overnight. We're then going to move up to Cosmin Matai. Man, some of these names have not been easy this video, I'm not going to lie. The thing about this clip that gets me the most is Matai didn't just make one penalty save. He actually stepped up and made two. Oh my god, and this is on a penalty shootout. I have no idea why he's the goalkeeper and why he saved two. But look at this, this is the first one. What a save! That was going top bins, and he's come out of nowhere with two hands and saved it. So that was the first save. And then clearly he's a different person taking it. He's bounced around all over the line. He's putting him off. That's the second save, and he's actually caught the ball. Wow! What the hell? I'm I'm confused right now. Like you're a goalkeeper, and you have just made two penalty saves. I don't even know why he has been in goal to make two. But apparently, according to this clip, he made two penalty saves. That's more than a hero. That's heroic. You're literally Steve Irwin before he died. You're literally Conor McGregor in his prime. You are an absolute hero, mate. I salute you. We then have Paul Quinn, who I'm pretty sure is Niall Quinn's long lost younger brother. I'm gonna guess, uh, like I really wanted to use Niall Quinn, but obviously Niall Quinn isn't on the game, so we've gone with like his brother or his cousin. This guy is definitely related to him, I'm, I'm not having it. Someone try saying they're not, you're lying. Manchester City versus Derby County 1991, this game is actually older than me. I mean, it's probably older than the majority of us, but Niall Quinn has stepped up in goal after his goalkeeper has been sent off, and guess what? He's made an absolutely fantastic save. Wow. Oh my god, like what, that, that was a, some of these saves, they're not just standard saves, they're like getting down to the bottom corner, they're like diving with both hands, fist pumping, we've seen double saves, that has got to be up there. Niall Quinn, what a legend, and guess what, he actually scored in that game as well. As if you hadn't had a good enough game, Jesus. But of course, finally to complete our team today lads, we have got Alex Revel, who definitely doesn't look like he's missed a single sunbed session this year. Either he's constantly on holiday, he uses fake tan, or he loves the sunbeds. Either way, from what he does in this clip, he's a hero, so he can do what he wants. No, Phantom versus Preston, I think it is. Alex Revel has jumped in goal, and guess what he's done? He has done that. Oh my god, Revel, what an absolute beast. This guy has stepped in. You can clearly see he's not a goalkeeper. He don't know what his bearings are, but he stepped up and he's made a great save. And here it is from a fan's angle. This is the fans stood behind him. They all believe in him. They know he's going to make the save. He knows he's going to make the save. And everyone's thinking, shit, what's going to happen next? Alex Revels bouncing around on his line. This guy, this guy is originally a striker. He don't know what to do. He's trying to put him off in all sorts of ways. Oh, man, if I was a striker, I'd be shitting myself. I'd be thinking, if I don't score this now, I'm going to get absolutely hammered. Steps up, and Alex Revel makes the save. <laughs> it is as well oh my god it looks even better from behind the goal but wow just like every single person you've seen in today's video click the like button trust me click it it makes like a weird noise if you click that like button just click it once it'll make a weird noise and it'll turn you into a hero i promise you give it a try it works now the reason why this clip was so bizarre is because this goalkeeper from senegal actually straight up no bullshit faked an injury i mean look at this 
That's not even pulling the hamstring, he's kicked his back foot into his other foot 